Central High School has some cleaning up to do after yesterday's high winds. Jordan Yady joins us live from the baseball field where there was supposed to be a game happening right now. Jordan, that's obviously not the case. It's not just the cold winds and the rain, Brianne. You can see why that game's not happening. The outfield fence all the way from behind my camera in center field to right field behind me blown over, now laying on the ground here at Central High School. And it's just one of many athletic fields that was damaged in yesterday's storms. Athletic Director Kathy Ferris tells me that a tree actually fell on the fence around their football field as well. And then the tennis court fence along First Avenue is laying on the ground right now. And with tennis and baseball in the middle of their seasons, players are going to have to get used to a lot more road games, at least for the time being. Ferris says she's been swamped the last two days moving games and getting things rescheduled. And with damage all across the tri-state, as Mitch just showed you, there's no telling when things will be replaced. I know the fence company came out today and walked everything, and uh, we're waiting on an estimate from them, and then it'll just be, we're going to take it a week at a time. Hopefully they'll be working on everything simultaneously so we can just knock it all out. Well, Ferris says the athletes were a bit disappointed, especially some of those seniors, to lose out on some home games. But she says they're grateful to still being able to play some games, even if it is going to be on the road for now. I'm reporting live from Central High School, Jordan Yaney, 14 News. All right, Jordan.